get the benefits of working out with weights without the weights. Here to show us is personal trainer Bobby Born Cristiano. Bobby, okay, so what are the benefits of weights versus cardio? Because my first thought in the morning is to do cardio and to forget the weights. Um, it, th there's going to be a lot of benefits to both, but you want to boost your metabolism through weight training as well. It's going to be an it's extended metabolism boost when you go with weight training. Generally, you have about 36 hours of an extended metabolism after weight training. No kidding, which would mean then that I could still burn calories 36 hours after doing the weight training. There you go. Okay, so you know, I, mean, I think that that really is probably cost effective in terms of time. Uh, so now you say you can do weight training really without barbells. Right. So how do you do that? Um, there's plenty of body weight exercises that you can do. Just your own body weight is plenty. Uh, okay. And just making sure that you get the form down right and that you're doing enough repetitions and enough sets, you'll get all that you need. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's start with something. Go ahead. What do you, wa what do you want to teach me? Well, the first thing I want to get into is air squats. Okay. But there's this particular thing about it. It's a lot of people don't understand how to get into doing squat form properly. Uh -huh. I see a lot of times people break down way before they even start. Okay, so show us. Sure. So what you want to do is you're going to get down okay. to the ground. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to stretch out your knees and ankles. Stretch out my knees and ankles, okay. Right. Got so that. what we're going to do is we're going to start to rock back and forth just like this. So we're getting movements in our knees uh -huh. and our ankles. And Great. We'll get everything nice and loose. And then, then from there, we want to come right up <laughs> and rock over the top do? of this, in All this right. position right here. There we are. It's kind of like a frog okay, squat. We're rocking. All right. So and right we're from, praying as yeah, we're rocking. Yeah, we're, keep, we're keeping our arms out to counterbalance, okay. just like that. And then from here, we squat. Okay. It's that simple. Okay, so the idea down. is this. Yes. Okay, now, what else? What else can you do for um, me? Another thing. Especially help my, you know, my glutes and my backside. And I know, okay. So if you wanna work your posterior chain, which is gonna be your hamstring, glutes, lower back. That's a really medial, polite way to put it, the, yeah. my posterior <laughs> chain. Every, everything, straight, <laughs> straight along the back. Uh -huh. What we do is we can take something as simple as a medicine ball, which I think is the best thing to have in your home. Okay. Of, of all things, it doesn't take up any space. You can use it for everything. Okay. What we're going to do is simply put it down here. Mm -hmm. We're going to bend over, right. pick it up, and raise it up. Okay. So it's a deadlift right into Great. the press. Wonderful. Okay, so now that would help your posterior chain. As posterior you call it. chain. All that's right. it. And, so, and, and what about for your upper body? Because I think a lot of times, you know, women, especially women of a certain age, lose some tone back here, and you really want to try to keep your arms toned. What we could do is we could go with a push up. Now, okay. once again, just like we, we got into our squat form, mm -hmm. we're going to start from the bottom, from the base. Okay, so let's get down so we can show you. So we're going to get all the way down. All, right. all the way down to the ground. All right. Just like this. Put our, <laughs> we'll put our, put our hands down like right. this, and we're going to press up. Press up. There you go. And okay. that's a push up. You're pushing your body up. But now what up. do I do? You go right back down. <laughs> just like this. But it's not now, supposed to be that way. No, it's, a, it's okay. Now you want to come as close to the ground as you can uh, and then push yourself right uh, back up. I mean, I think that that really is, that's, that's hard. Or you could do it from a kneeling position you just can? like that and okay. that would be good too. Great. So it's and, important that we do all this. Okay, and how many reps? How many reps of all of this stuff? Um, you, could you, go, you could go with 10, 12, or even 15. You can go up as high as 20 uh -huh. and you can do anywhere from three to five uh, sets. Okay, but there, there you go. The, the whole thing laid out for you. <laughs> Thank you so much, especially for my posterior, posterior chain. chain. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put some of Bobby's moves on our website, cbsphilly.com. Just click on the Talk Philly. Okay, so show me again how to do this. Book. I'll be right back. Okay. So start at, start at the bottom. Start at the bottom. And we're going to push right back up. I'm good go. with that. 